And so how do we design motivation? Well, for a teacher, it's demonstrating ease of use, the ability to integrate this into the classroom very easily, the ability to uh, monitor student performance and track student performance easily, the ability to actually achieve the learning outcomes that they're mandated to achieve mm -hmm. as part of their job. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's our de definition of motivation for the instructor. For the student, first is the fact that it is a, an inter interactive experience, a game or a simulation itself, and that's of course very different than what students generally do in the educational environment, so that in itself is, is motivating. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, second, the second reason is that we try to make it very personalized. You know, whenever something is personal to you and it feels like it's you making the decisions and the consequences of those decisions, it becomes much more uh, engaging uh, emotionally and, and, uh, and other ways. So as an example, you know, a lot of institutions like to use case studies to teach people about business, and that's okay, but you're really le learning about somebody else's experience that you know, might have happened years ago. It's not you. With a simulation or game, it's your business, it's your decisions, it's your consequences. So again, much more, uh, much more engaging. Um, uh, another way is, is, is you know, how we like to think of it as emotionally engaging, and that's because it uses just-in-time learning. So you know, in traditional learning, you, you're taught a whole bunch of stuff just in case you might need it someday, and of yeah. course you can get most of it by the time, by the time you need uh -huh. it. Um, and, and often, and especially with younger kids, they don't see the relevance of what they're learning and how it applies in the real world. Mm -hmm. But with a game or simulation, they're thrown in the middle of the real world in a, in a, not, in a, in a risk free way and they're experiencing problems. And when they're experiencing problems, they're, and they're again really personalized, as we said earlier, they're motivated to solve those problems. And I'll give you an example. In our business simulation, what often happens in a classroom is a student will hire an, the first employee that comes along. So they're not going to read resumes <laughs> and so on. Right? That's too much work. Uh -huh. uh, and of course, they have problems with that employee. It doesn't show up for work, is late, sick, and whatever it may be. And then they're realizing that the friend next to them is doing really well because they took the time to hire a good employee. Well, now they realize they have a problem, and they want to solve that problem because it's affecting their performance in the game, so they'll now take the time to learn what they need to know about hiring the right person. So it's that just-in-time right. learning, it's that mot personal motivation to want to learn more because they have a problem that, again, they've right. emotionally engaged and, and personalized. Right, and, and really good. And on top of that, of course, there's brain research to suggest that, you know, we, we remember things when we're emotionally stimulated uh -huh. in some way, you know, uh -huh. highs and lows in our lives. Uh -huh. And if you can create an experience that kind of generates those, you know, those, you know, those high successes and high failures, that kind uh -huh. of thing, you'll remember those experiences much more effectively. Yeah, really good. 